Finally, I got all the signatures. Now I had to go back to Ogla and give it to her. She was sitting in front of her cab and reading a book. Doesn't look like a great role model for the pioneer she was planning to turn me into. I wonder if her responsibilities extended by giving fiery speeches at the lineup, scolding Yelena and getting involved in my moral and physical ideological growth. Here. I offered her my checklist. She placed it in her pocket without even looking at the signatures. Great. I could have signed it myself without going anywhere. Perfect. Did you meet our nurse? Yes. For some reason, her question sends shivers down my spine. Which club have you signed up for? I didn't. I need to think first. That's a pity. It's vital for you to sign up in somewhere tomorrow. Of course. Sure. Right. It's time to go to dinner. About time. I was getting hungry. I headed to the canteen together with Ogla. I looked at the sky and noticed the sun was already setting. On the porch stood Alyssa and Electronic. Yelena and Slavia. As I came up, I heard what they were talking about. And never call me Dutchy again or you'll get another one. I didn't call you that. You're hearing things. <laughs> he did. I heard all of it. You weren't even there. I was, I was, I was in the bushes. Come on, you guys, stop it. So, it wasn't a football injury electronics suffered from earlier today. The nurse did a good job. I can't even see the black eye. Ogla came up to them and asked them about the ruckus. What happened? Alyssa and Shizuak, I, I didn't do anything. She shrugged with Antipi and went inside. Right, dinner time. I entered at last. There were too many free seats. There were a few free chairs near Alyssa across the canteen, but I would soon starve for a week and rather risk my head near her. There was also a seat near Yulina, but I'm not into the traditional Chinese whatever crawls cuisine. Finally, a free chair, Mikyu. Looks like I'll have to pick my poison. You mind if I sit here? Yeah, sure. I mean, no, I don't mind. I mean, yes, you can sit here. I sat down. Look, it's butt wig today. Do you like butt wig? And I like chicken. I, well, I, no, never mind. I don't like chicken. Well, not that I don't like it. I mean, ugh. but if you ask me what I prefer, I say stroganoff beef or a gout. No, maybe just a hamburger or a steak. Do you like rum steak? I'm not that picky about my food. And that's the simple truth. Oh, is that so? But the desserts, you know, they aren't really good here. I like ice cream. Do you like ice cream? I just 40 bucks and then a sograko. Oh, sorry, I keep talking about myself. Maybe you like Eskimo better? Dinner was starting to get on my nerves, thanks to such company. She is so cute though! How are you not in love with her? I love her! And I know the kind of person that can just ignore someone who's talking to them. Even her. We're at the same table after all. You know, once I bought a waffle cone and started eating, and you know what? I found a screw there. A real screw, can you imagine that? Or was it as a bolt? I don't really know. Uh. Gosh, I wish I knew. Screws, you know, those things you tighten with screwdrivers and bolts are those things that you jam with a wrench, yes? If there was a speed eating contest going on, I would probably be in the chapter three winners by now. Right. I'll be going. Enjoy your meal. I got up and headed outside. Mickey was saying something, but her words were drowned by the crowd of loudly dying pine dining God, not dying. Dining pioneers. I went outside and sat on the stairs, waiting for my dinner to settle down a bit. I just sat there and watched the night fall. Everything is so lively here during the day. Kids laughing and yelling happily, fooling around, running, constantly chattering, games going on, swimming at the beach. But after dark, the camp changes entirely. The sounds of the days are swapped for silence. 
Only now and then my broken crickets are chirping of a bird. The camp was going to sleep. In every shadow you could see things, maybe ghosts, or a spirit of the forest, a wild animal. A human being would be the last thing to expect. That is how it looked last night, and now. The locals followed the routine very strictly. In the day, the camp was theirs, and the night it belonged to more focus of nature than to humans. Someone touched my shoulder. I looked back. It was electronic. Let's go play cards. Cards? Yep, I invented a new game. A good one. Good. Like, how? Well, first you go to find the cards, then I'll tell you. Then go find them. What's the problem? Only Ogla has them and she won't give them to me. Why? Well, the last time when we... Ogla, Dimitri, Venice, and Lavia came out onto the porch. Ogla, Seaman just wanted to ask you about the possibility of getting playing cards. Actually, for what purpose? We invented a new game. Not we, you. What game? I need. I keep messing up his voice. I'm mixing his voice and Mickey's voice. I need the cards to show you. I don't like this. Well, if Simon is with you, then perhaps it's okay. To be really honest, look up, I shouldn't. <laughs> we'll go fetch them together, Ogla. Go get the cards at Solavia or go alone. I'll go. If you don't mind. Sure, let's go. We headed towards my cabin. Roughly halfway there, Solavia stopped. Hey. I just remembered, the cards are in my cabin. Good timing. And where's that? It's just on this road. Let's go. We reached a cabin that, in fact, looked more like a trailer. Just wait here, it'll be a minute. It took just a few seconds to come back. There! She showed me the deck of pretty worn out cards. These must be, these must be marked in and out. They're unsportsmanlike. What happened to the fair play? Tell me about it. It's hard to cheat when you don't know the rules. Shall we go? Let's go. On our way back, I decided to find out about something. How long have you been here? In this camp? About a week. I see. And where did you come from? I'm from the north. That is... The cold north. She looked at me and smiled. Looks like nobody in this camp is inclined to answer even the most innocent of questions. I tried to approach from another angle. And what do you like? What do you mean? Well, your hobbies. Oh, I like nature. Strange, she's not very talkative today for some reason. Nature, I see. Want to become a natural historian? More like... A normal historian. Oh. More like a normal historian. I was always interested in our nation's history. That would suit her well indeed. It appeared that among the locals, she was the only one who had nothing to hide. What if she came here just like me and simply could not trust anyone enough to tell? I tried testing the waters. And why did you choose this camp? I didn't. My parents got a voucher for me from their work. Another failure. Well, if you could choose. It's nice here. I don't think I would choose some other place if I could. Here it's like you are becoming another person. That wasn't how I saw it. What do you mean, another person? It's just that there's so many possibilities. You can learn so much, meet so many new interesting people here. Now she started to sound like our chef. Our sheep. Now she started to sound like our chief, which raised a red flag for me. I started to stop with the questions for now. 
when we came back, Ogla told Salavia, I just remembered that the cars were at your place. It's okay, we got it. Good, good. Salavia and Ogla went inside. I was going to follow, but someone grabbed my hand. Alyssa. Her gaze sends a shiver down my spine, and not a nice one. You want something? I asked carefully. You're gonna play this stupid game? Uh, yeah, something wrong with that? Nope, nothing. She was turning to leave, but then slowly looked back and smiled. So you, so you play cards? A little. I couldn't figure out what she wanted. So, so only duck, and that's it. As if you're a poker star. Well, yes, technically. Then you don't have a chance. Why? Because. So you know the rules? Of course. Well, then you'll have the upper hand. I couldn't see why we were going on talking emotionally towards the door. Why do you keep trying to leave? Is there anything else you'd like to talk about? Let's make a bet. What do you mean? You're such a slowpoke. The cards, what else? And what do you want to bet on? That'll win. That's quite a possible outcome. I agreed calmly. So are you afraid? No, I'm not. I'm not big on bets when I don't like my chances. And you're not big on talk taking risks, are you? Sitting in the of observation, I am impressed. Right, then I. No, you're not. Now what? I sighed in exhaustion. She was starting to annoy me with her rubbish talk of some pointless bet. If you... If you won't bet me, then I'll tell everyone else who tried to seduce me. What? Whoa. You heard me. I could imagine her doing this. Don't be stupid. Who's gonna believe you? I've been here less than two days. Besides... Wanna try your luck? Right. And what will happen if I win? I won't tell anyone any- I won't- I won't tell anyone anything. And if I lose, slow poke mode again, I'll tell everyone and try to seduce me, I told you already. So, you're telling me that now I have to work to prove I didn't do something when I actually didn't do it. If that's how you want to look at it. Not a simple decision. On the other hand, it was stupid to agree. I didn't know the rules, and gambling was not my thing. On the other hand, she could really make my life hell. Then again, can I even trust her? She can do it even if I win. So have you made a decision? I was going to answer, but suddenly Lena came out from behind me. What? Nothing, nothing. Lena hurried inside. So? Okay. See, I totally do just because she's just like, I'm better than you. I can do everything better than you. You're worthless. You're trash. But I'm not going to bet. No, I'm not going to participate in your shady business. Sorry about that. You wuss! She shrugged and went up the stairs where she went inside, flung at me. Prepare to face the consequences. Consequences? What if I made the wrong decision? Shoot! Okay. Okay, um, like I said before, I'm not going to bet with her. You wuss. She shrugged and went out the stairs before she went inside and flung at me. Prepare to face the consequences. Consequences? What if I made the wrong decision? After all, she can't really contemplate things for me here. 
On the other hand, I just couldn't allow myself to be pulled into something so reckless. I let out a heavy sigh and followed her through the door. Inside, everything was ready. A few pioneers stood here and there chatting, the tables were moved out, in the way to make room for the players and spectators. I looked around. Something was going on in the far corner. When I came closer, I saw a large piece of paper with a diagram on top of it. My name was among the players. And who came up with all of this? I patted a trunk who was standing near. Well, of course it was our most humble servant. He bowed to me jokingly. This was making me uncomfortable to the point of squirming. And why in the world am I one of the players? I was disappointed. A few seconds ago, I still thought I had a slim chance to evade this tournament. Then I wouldn't have to fear Alyssa's revenge for not betting with her. But now that hope was gone. It was purely coincidence. Yeah, coincidence, except that I was already acquainted with every one of the contestants. While there were a few dozen other pioneers standing in the room, I was seized by anxiety. It's a feeling of being watched while standing in an empty room with no windows and doors. Will there be a prize? I asked him lazily. I wanted to distract myself with the pointless conversation. An electronic watch was about to answer when Neil and I came out of nowhere and started jumping around him. Prizes, prizes. I heard something about prizes. Do you know what the main ethos of the Olympic Games? What? No. You'll understand when you grow up. She made a worry face and jabbed the electronic in the ribs. So what about this prize? Well, I don't know. It's not up to me. He made a helpless gesture. Duster. Really? If they came up with a stupid game, at least they could give me the winner? A chocolate medal or something? Yona suddenly jumped off and raced to somewhere. I wish I were the optimistic. So, what about the rules? Wait a bit. Not everyone is here yet. I looked around a canteen. Alyssa, Slavia, Lena, Nikyu, Shiku are here. It seemed like everyone's here. Not everyone. Sienna isn't here. Does he feel uneasy, or is it just me? She's not here, so so what? Pick someone else instead. No, I can't do that. He answered slowly. I decided not to ask exactly why he can't do this. We'll go fetch her or something, I don't know. He can't go, he's the host of the event. The camp leader appeared as if from nowhere. But Ogla! Electronic whined. Say, man, we'll go. All right, right, say, man? She looked at me and smiled. Of course, who else? Where is she? In the library, I guess. Okay. I dragged my feet towards the door. Please hurry. What's Electronic's problem, anyway? Night is coming soon. I was going to take my time, so I slowly paced towards the library. But I found Zine Zinea before I even expected. She was sitting on the bench at the square. What are you doing here? Everyone is looking for you. Oh. What are you doing here? Sitting here, as you can see. She frowned. Well, let's go. I don't want to. She looked away. Why not? I don't want to. I sat beside her. Listen, I don't like the idea of the contest myself, but we can't let everyone down. I surely did not sound like myself here. A couple of days ago, I wouldn't even think of saying something like that. Zanea looked at me with a surprise on her face. So, everyone's waiting for me? Isn't that exactly what I just said? Yes. I won't go anyway. She frowned and hid her face. But why? I just ripped my arms, wondering, I don't know how to play cards. So? 
Same problem here. Then how can you play? What? You can only do things that you've read about in books or something? Of course. She was surprised. And what if you end up in Antarctica and have to rely on hunting polar bears to survive? Polar bears? Oh. Polar bears don't live in Antarctica. Zanea smiled. She's so cute. Look at that little face. Look at her. Look at her face. So cool. So cool. Doesn't matter. It's just an example. Come on. It's not like someone's life depends on the results. She took her time to think. I just don't want to let anyone down. Right. I agreed sarcastically. And don't you think anything's funny about that? I don't get what she meant, but anyway. Obviously, everyone has their weak spots. In a minute, we were both back at the canteen. Everyone looked at electronic. So! He <coughs> cleared his throat. Each round of consists of one game. In a case of draw, and he replayed the game. After this, the loser drops out to the next round begins. Since a number of volunteers... He looked at me. Since a number of players is just eight, we'll only have three rounds. Is everything clear? The crowd cheered. And what are the prizes? The prizes, what are they? Yona, cut it out. Salavia so stepped forward and tried to catch Yelena. I won't until the prize is mine. Seems like this girl had enough energy to warp jump Alpha Synthra. Prizes, prizes. She repeated it over and over. Stop it. Salavia so tried to reason with her. Electronics seemed to be getting dizzy from all this running around. Let's get started already. I said calmly and added to Yelena. Or you won't get any prizes. Looks like my argument got through to her, so she took her place. Salavia so followed her, giving me a grateful smile as she passed. The pioneers have finally settled down. I approached the table that Lena sat behind. You don't mind? She looked up and blushed. Don't worry, I know the rules myself. And how can I be so sure that it's not only myself? I sat down. Turns out we'll have to play the first round together. Yes. Finally, Electronics started to explain the rules. Oh. Look at the card. Look at the cards carefully. There are exactly six of them in front of you. I hope everyone knows you're at a count. Now you can look. Now you can look at them. After everyone has looked at the cards, Electronic moved on. The rules are similar to poker. I hope everyone. I hope everyone knows how to play. Sorry, I keep messing up. I know the rules, but I wasn't so sure about the others. First of all is the top card, then the other pair, then the two, and the three of the kind. And so on. No pleasures or straights, though. In the first round, you'll choose a card that you'd like to take from your opponent. In turn, your opponent can choose to swap two cards around twice. Or he cannot do so. If he doesn't need the card, which are you taking? Take note that your opponent can see which cards are trading places. In each next step, your opponent takes us the card he chooses, and so on. I think it's pretty clear. It wasn't clear to me. Hey, you, Einstein. You want to yell at from her from under the table? I don't get a thing. You'll figure it out as you'll go. Electronic went to the table with the diagram, yelling Yelena to smolder in solitude. You go first. I hoped I could get my mind around the game fast enough. Lena, more complex than usual, reached out for my cards. In the middle of the table near her hand stopped. Will you... Oh, yeah, I shouldn't be protecting my card. What was it that Electronic said? Try to confuse my opponent, I can swap two of my cards, twice, or I can choose not to. Should I protect it or not? By the way, I can also agree and give her the card that she chooses straight away. Otherwise, Lena can change her mind and take another card if she wants to. Or she might not. Oh god. 
I didn't understand the rules at all in this game. <laughs> uh... Wait! Things are becoming clear. Or at least comprehensible. No, I don't understand! No, it's my turn. I can take back my card from her, or I can choose another one. Ah, uh, this one? And then I can try and protect her card. But if I watch her closely, I can take the card I choose regardless of her movements. I want this card, please. I still want this card. I made it. Our electronic was silent in watching our game, not in approval. Looks like we're getting somewhere. Now, turning the round opponent's trade cards three times. Keep an eye on each other. Penetrate your opponent with your eyes. I chuckled. Penetrate. What's so funny? Oh, never mind. I tried to keep a straight face. <laughs> he stared at me for a moment, then moved on. And then we showed our cards to whose hand is better. Electronic went back to his diagram. Okay, so she wants. Is it like weird go fish or something? This one looks like Alyssa, and that one looks like Elena, and Alyssa, and Alyssa, and a kitty cat girl, and Alyssa. Holy crap, all of our cards look like Alyssa. Okay, so she wants. Okay, so I'm gonna switch this card and this card. And then. This card and this card. No, now she wanted that one! No, I want it back. Give it to me. No! Give it to me! Give it to me! Yes! Okay, we're good. Take it. Take it. It's yours. Take it. Take it. I don't want it. I don't know how to play this game. Oh, now it's me? Now I pick, uh, that one. I still want it. Can I have it? Yona. Not Yona. Lena. Can I have it? Ooh. But I want all of- wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna move this real quick. And then I'm gonna move this card. And she's gonna take back her old card. And I'm going to take this card. Okay, I still want this card. I still want this card. So now I have two of these. Well, wait. No, you don't want this one. Take... <gasps> Fail! What? No, 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 no. I don't understand. Oh, five, six, seven, eight, K, A. Dang it. It's so frustrating to lose anyway. I don't understand. I left the canteen. It was still too early to sleep on a short walk. It looked idea though. Where should I head to? Um, scene? Jinda Square, volleyball, gymnasium, football. Let's go to the boathouse. I decided to go to the pier. The sun was still gleaming shyly, shy, shyly above the horizon, and the river in the distance boasted with all the different shades of red, yellow, whatever. The water seemed to be blazing with flames. I stared as it got weaker until it completely settled. For the first time today, I finally felt how tired I was. There was no light in the window, so Ogla must have been sleeping already. Strangely enough, she waited for me yesterday. 
I entered the cabin quietly and stripped and laid on the bed. When you think about it, my situation hadn't got any clearer. In fact, I spent a whole day doing useless stuff. I would have never even thought about doing something like this in the real world. Although, I had plenty of time. How much time would I have here in this total mystery? Maybe an eternity or maybe a few minutes. I didn't want to think about the past, about how I got to this camp. For the first time in a long while, I felt really tired. Not only emotionally tired, but also physically tired, psychologically tired, and God knows what else. I just wanted everyone and everything to shove off, starting with my own thoughts. I wanted this mess somehow resolved by itself, or at least my active participation. And what if I'm stuck here forever? Then I'll have to get used to it. So just like that, I'm not ready? <laughs> My consciousness slowly drifted away from me and became progressively harder to concentrate on something distinct. Perhaps it was better to wait until tomorrow. I rolled over and fell asleep.